Hey, what's up everyone? Danny Lightning back with another CSR2 video. We're going to look at the Coenseg Gamera and the Gamera Launch Edition. Both of these cars use the exact same shift pattern and the exact same tune when they're maxed out. So, we're just going to go ahead and show you both of these on the same video. This video is brought to you by Asho Speed the King. He allows me access to this account with all these maxed out cars. You can find a link to his YouTube in this video's description. So, we're going to show you how to drive it, we're going to show you how to tune it, and then I'm going to do a quick review and give you my thoughts on the car at the end. And here's the regular one. It looks like the regular one has a record time of 6.953, and the launch has a record time of 6.905 okay 6.905 those are the times these cars are capable of running so let's go look at the tune really quick all right so the gamera and the launch both of them you're going to move the nitrous all the way over to the left if your car is maxed out they're both going to have a 2.0 on the final drive and they're both going to be down to 8 PSI on the tires. So let's do a couple test runs and see if we can hit that record time or not. Now this car only has two gears. What we're going to do is let go of the gas exactly at number one. The needle is going to drop down to zero RPM. You're going to hit your nitrous and then just do a shift into second right before the red line and that's it that's all there is to it super easy to drive as long as you get that kickback start okay we'll do one run on each one of these cars so get ready here comes the first run on this guy three two one let go nitrous second gear right on the perfect shift there right before red line and let's see what time we ran Let's see what we got. What did we get? What did we get? There we got a 6.960, which is very, very close to the world record time, okay? 6.960. That was a very, very good run. Now, let's go check out the Gamera launch. Okay, so let's get a nice test run on, in on this one and see if we can hit that record time. Three, two, one, go. Second, nitrous, I mean. Second. There we go. That's it. Nitrous and then second. Nothing to it. Super, super easy to drive, guys. And what did we run? What did we run? There we got a 6.911. We got a 6.911, which is crazy, crazy fast. All right, just so you guys know, this is the, these are the fourth and 14th fastest car in the game at the moment. Of course, the launch edition is the fourth, and the regular Gamera is the 14th. Now... Let's talk about these cars a little bit. Both are very, very fast, very, very beautiful cars. They look amazing, but what are they good for? Well, of course, they've got great 0 to 100 times. They got great 0 to 60 times. They got pretty nice top speed. So they're good for most things, okay? They're very good for most things, but what about live racing? What about live racing? So neither one of these cars is a gigantic dyno beating car unless you can find some sort of down tune that's going to make this car beat dyno by a lot. It's not going to be great at live racing as far as getting wins unless you can max it out and then they're faster than a lot of the cars in the game. But then you're going to be in the lobby with the very, very fastest cars. Basically, I would say this is a great car for swapping with another player where you trade wins, you win one, lose one, win one, lose one. That's a great easy way to get fast respect points in this game. That's the only thing I would really do with this car as far as live racing goes. So anything that doesn't require you to beat your dyno time, these two cars are going to be beasts. But unfortunately, if you're, if you're required to beat your dyno time, you are going to have a very very hard time winning live races or beating the dyno now these cars do look super amazing very 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 cool looking cars all right the interior the exterior all beautiful so the bottom line is these two cars are going to be great at anything except for things that require you to beat your dyno like live racing all right 
everything else in the game they should do very well at so there's my quick little review and thoughts on these cars I think the launch edition does look way cooler I like that yellow inside and it's a little bit faster but both overall amazing cars and I think that wraps this up I'll catch you guys later see ya